Welcome to Loomly. In this video, you will learn how to collaborate with your team using Loomly. You can invite collaborators to join a calendar by clicking on Invite Collaborators in the drop down menu on the right hand side of your toolbar, and you'll be taken to your calendar settings. You can also navigate your calendar settings directly and head to the Collaborators tab. Each collaborator you invite will receive an email invitation prompting them to join your calendar by creating an account or by logging into Loomly if they already have an account. If your invited collaborator does not already have a Loomly account, the calendar invitation will expire after 14 days. If an invitation expires or is accidentally deleted, you can resend it up to three times. When you invite a collaborator to join a calendar, you can assign a role to them. Loomly comes with four default roles out of the box, editor, client, contributor, and viewer. Note that the owner role is automatically attributed to the user who created the calendar. Click on the icon to learn more about the permissions of each role or explore our help center. If you need more granular control, use custom roles to create tailor-made sets of permissions for each of your team members. If you have multiple calendars and want to see an overview of all the users on your plan, go to the Users tab in your account settings. This is where you can manage all your users in one place, including inviting new collaborators, granting them access to other calendars, updating their role in each calendar, and removing users from your subscription. Moving on to workflow collaboration, Loomly offers four different workflow options. These workflows determine how a post is created from start to finish by allowing you to set what happens when posts enter different statuses like pending approval, requires edits, and so on. The original workflow is ideal for larger teams when multiple people need to review and approve a post. Once approved, posts will need to be updated to the scheduled state. The light workflow is best suited for smaller teams where only one person needs to approve a post. Once the post is approved, it will automatically be scheduled. The zero workflow option is perfect for solo users who don't need post approval. Use custom workflows when you need to automate a more complex workflow that ensures any collaborators who are assigned to specific post dates take the actions they need to. To create a custom workflow, set up triggers to select which collaborators will be automatically assigned to posts whenever a given state is reached. For example, you can create a trigger that automatically assigns your manager or your client to posts that are pending approval rather than doing so manually when drafting a post. Use guards to specify a set of collaborators who need to take action on a post before it can move to a different state. For example, you can create a guard that requires the approval of your manager or your client before a post can be published. You can select a different workflow for each of your calendars to match each client or brand's needs. Depending on the workflow you select, a post can be in one of seven states. A post in the draft state means that it is not yet ready to be scheduled and will remain as a draft until moved out of the draft state. Draft posts are not visible to users with a client role. A post that is pending approval requires review from another collaborator. This post needs another set of eyes to approve it before moving forward. A post that requires extra work will be put in the requires edit state. You and your collaborators can continue working on the post until it is ready to be approved and then move it to the pending approval state. After being reviewed and approved, a post will move into the approved state or directly to scheduled, depending on the workflow you chose. If it moves to the approved state, you must manually update the post state to scheduled so it can be published. Please note that only posts in the scheduled state will be published on your social media channels. Once a post is successfully sent, it will move to the published state and means that the post is live on your social media channels. Finally, a post can be canceled. This is for when you create content for a post that you no longer want to publish but prefer not to delete. For example, this status is ideal if your client does not approve a post or if the content is no longer relevant but you want to keep it for the future. You can assign multiple collaborators to a post so they can all take part in the approval and publishing process. There are a few different ways to assign a collaborator to a post. The first is post view where you can update or assign additional collaborators. To assign collaborators to a post in list view, 
select their name in the Assign To drop-down menu. Once assigned, collaborators will receive notifications by email, through push notifications on mobile, or via Slack or Microsoft Teams, depending on their personal notification preferences. To set up notifications, you and your collaborators will need to go into your individual account settings, click the Notifications tab, and set which notifications will be sent based on particular actions. If your team works in batches and your collaborators would rather know once an entire month of content is ready for review, rather than being assigned individual posts, you can use the Notify a Collaborator feature both in the list and calendar views. Finally, you can take advantage of bulk actions to assign several posts to your collaborators at once or if you want to approve multiple posts. To communicate with your team and leave feedback, use comments in both list view and post view. To leave a comment for a specific collaborator, at mention them, type your comment, and press enter. Your collaborator will then be notified. All collaborators will be able to view the comment history and all logged changes to a post so that everyone can remain on the same page at all times. If you want to keep a comment private and hidden to users with the client role, you can make that specific comment private. Finally, if there is a comment that you want to highlight to your team, you can pin it to the top of your post history to make sure everyone sees it when they view the post. Next up, you can collaborate with your team and clients on library assets, including images, videos, notes, and post templates. All you need to do is copy the asset URL to share the asset view with your team so they can preview the media, track its history, update metadata, edit the video or image, and more. Last but not least, you can assign interactions to collaborators so that no message goes unanswered. Not only can you see who has replied to a specific interaction, but you can also filter by assignee to see the comments, messages, and mentions you or your collaborators have been assigned to. A bonus tip for you and your team is to take advantage of saved replies to speed up your response time. If you prefer to collaborate offline with your manager, team, or clients, use our content export feature to export list view, calendar view, and post view as PDF files, and advanced analytics as a PDF or CSV file. Plus, you can schedule your reports to be automatically sent on a weekly or monthly basis to up to 25 recipients. And that's it, you're ready to collaborate in Loomly. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact our team either through our chat or via email at contact at Thanks for watching this tutorial.